This video continues the walkthrough from the chapter five uh, book example with a uh, case switch statement and uh, launching another um, activity from a different application within the Android. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go into main Java and add another module, kind of like this on create one that's already here. And I'm going to add this uh, module header. Uh, it's good to review that terminology of what is a header, what is uh, argument, parameter, a parameter list, all those things. So these, this in the parentheses is the uh, parameter list. The first word is the data type. And then the next word is the uh, parameter variable name and then a comma to separate the parameters. So we've got four parameters. So there will be four arguments sent when that list item is clicked. To figure out which item was clicked, we're going to use a programming structure called a switch statement. And you'll see one of the uh, parameters is going to be called uh, position. And we'll use case statements to figure out what which position it was. Don't you don't have to worry about how the list item click itself works. It's just something that um, that, that control does. When that when there's a, a list on the screen, when the user clicks it, it sends some information, and this is the information that it sends and what we can use. So we're going to just focus on using the position. It's kind of like the array element that we are that we are at when we clicked. So you can think of it that way. If the array element was zero. If it was the first item in the list, position would be zero and case zero would be true. So we would go into the case zero. It's kind of like a big nested if, uh, if then else block. Uh, we need break in Java because it will continue for all the other cases unless we have that break. Right, it's the same way in C++. Um, so you need to have a break at the end of each one. So I'm going to go through and import all these things that I need to import for my squiggly lines. And this one isn't something that I need to import. It says that it's having trouble, it's expecting a string. Right, and I've seen this error before when I copy and paste from the e-text or from uh, other applications. Sometimes those double quotes get messed up. So that's just a simple matter of deleting the character that was there. Hopefully you recognize that it's not, you know, doesn't, doesn't quite look the same. And we're going to put um, the regular plain text double quotes there. So if the case is a zero, we want to go to this website, AlcatrazCruises.com. If the case was one, if they clicked on the second item in the list, uh, we want to go to this other website. And what's going to happen is uh, the Android is going to launch the default web browser to handle that situation. And you can see how Alcatraz and Ferry Marketplace line up there. So I click this. It launches the, the web application, the web browser. We didn't have to write it. This is another application that's already installed on the Android device, and in this case, the Android virtual device. And we just had to tell it the uh, URL, or more technically correct, the URI to go to. And it's got a little progress bar. Speed will be different on different machines, but that's basically what it does. And you can use the back button here, the soft key, and notice if we click on any of these other ones, it's not done yet. We have to finish that code. It's working as expected for now. 